1992, Easy publicly aligned himself with Ted Brasinio, one of the cops charged with beating Rodney King. To me, he seems like a nice guy. But to everybody else, they don't care. He's just one of the officers that was there helping beat Rodney King. So I guess he's a accessory, you know. But uh, when I viewed the tape, I seen he was the only one that I seen on the tape that was trying to stop. Then I watched the trial, parts of it, and I think, and when Mr. Mr. Brasino, Officer Brasino wanted a defense, I said, okay, maybe I'll get involved in the case now because he criticized the other officers for excessive force. But I had to call another client. I was representing the government, EZE from NWA, <laughs> who was the gangster rap, right. and Greg Godfather. And I called EZE. I said, what do you think about me being your lawyer and also representing someone to Rodney King? He said, you know, everyone's entitled to a defense. So go ahead, no problem. He actually got to know my client. Believe he was innocent and helped support his family during the trial. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, easy? Did so you actually call to say hello, easy? Yeah, of course. <laughs> and he actually attended the trial and also had That's was interesting. very criticized in the uh, African American press at the time because for supporting one of the officers. officers yeah. That's really yeah. like gutsy. I know he was. He is a very principled. He's dead do now. You th- I, mean, I don't. Yeah. I know because. Yeah. Uh, 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 but do you think that? Um, people that have had interaction with the criminal justice system tend to be more sympathetic to other people that find themselves in that position? I think so, because you realize how uh, inaccurate, how fragile it is, how politically motivated it can be, and how haphazard it can be. So someone like Easy would understand that, but he was more interested in whether or not it was a racial beating or not. Finally, he's not a presidential advisor yet, but his rap has gained him entry to the Republican elite. More on this new insider from Chief Washington correspondent Bob Schieffer. If you're cool, you know the center of attention at Washington's National Airport last night was that hot new rapper Easy E, whose rap is a little, well... Little on the, on the dirty, too much to side, but not quite to that extent. Not that, he's not like um, abusing women, but... Right. Republican inner circle, who were waiting in line today to hear law and order man George Bush at a private members-only reception. You would have been surprised because Easy es group is not exactly the voice of the establishment. Why was Easy e there? Mainly because he was invited. Like many Americans, he received a fundraising letter from Texas Senator Bill Graham inviting him to join the elite inner circle for a thousand bucks, of course. In a follow-up note, Senate Republican leader Bob Dole pointed out his fellow members would include Arnold Schwarzenegger. In a follow-up note, Senate Republican leader Bob Dole pointed out his fellow members would include Arnold Schwarzenegger and George Shultz. Before the Republicans realized it was all a computer foul-up, Easy E just sent in the money and was made an official member. Do you think that? Uh... We're gonna be working with the law of the difference. Let me hear Eric right here. Here's Eric. This is the gentleman that's possible. Things called athletes and entertainers for kids. 
Make-A-Wish Foundation. I give a lot of donations to different organizations. So what they did is they picked my name off giving donations, and they sent me an invitation to come down there. The invitation said, uh, we want to invite you to the Republicans' party. I'm not no Republican, you know. So I went down there. When we went down there, as soon as I got off the plane, you had CBS, CNN, and all these people like Easy e gang member, uh, drug dealer, and all this, you know, comes down here to the president's luncheon and all that, you know. And they just blew it up. Basically, what I did is I paid fifteen hundred dollars. Hello, I'm Katie Wright, and welcome to Compton. One of the things I, I want the whole world to know about my son, he was a great father and a great man. And everybody that I know loved him. When he first started, he was in a, a crew uh, called the High Power DJ Crew. And so it wasn't NWA when he first started. The first time he brought a plaque home, he was really happy. I was really excited. I was really proud of it because he dedicated to my husband, my late husband, Richard Wright, and myself, Katie Wright. When I was super proud of him, when he was born. And the second time when he grew up, he bought me my first car. Some things the world might not know about my dad behind the scenes is that he was a real family guy. Loved his kids, was always here at holidays. He barely missed any. Like, we still eat at the same dinner table at my grandparents' house. He was a real father figure. No matter how busy he got, he was always there. To know that they're following the same blueprint that my father put out is really amazing. To know that he started this, as long as everybody paid homage and remember where it came from, then I really don't have a problem with it. I just want respect where respect is due. As far as the movie goes, we have, haven't been consulted. I would feel better if they had came to us and asked for our ideas and things that we would want in the movie. It just involved us, period. Let us have things and how we want the outlook to be or what we want to see in the big screen. The movie, I'm really happy about it. I'm really supportive of it. This is the first time my dad will be seen on the big screen, period, to even let everyone know the person he is. Like, to me, my dad is like the God, like the God of rap, period. So just for everybody to be able to see that and honestly know everything. But as long as they make everything look real nice in the movie and make him look good and the character good, then everything will be fine. If my dad was here today, I honestly think the NWA probably would have put out a few more albums. Would have made men's, being that at, during the time right before then, they squashed their beef. All about to be 50, like he's making 50 this year. Movies that they got out, the Rambos and all that, where they show all the killings and everything. In that video, I didn't show no killings. It just showed somebody shooting the camera, you know, if you want, you know. And I don't think it's violent. Okay. But then again, I got, I got one that got a disclaimer at the beginning that says, you know, this is just acting and everything else. Okay, okay, I can understand that. Do you think that our young youth are trying to live out the videos that uh, Easy e and other producers uh, portray and produce and sing? I don't know right now, because they're trying to blame a lot of violence on rap, which violence would be here if, it wasn't, if rap wasn't here anyway, you know. It's an individual, I think it is, a person. They see all this stuff and they just want to go out and do it. I don't know. I don't think violent, the, the rap make people go out and do things. Mm -hmm. You know. So what are what are you portraying in this video here? Oh, I'm just a neighborhood sniper. And who I'm are you? Taking out the bad guys. That's all. Oh, you take out the bad guys yeah. in the neighborhood. Right. Okay, so it's not it's like the drug dealers and stuff like that. I'm mm -hmm. just taking out the bad guys. Okay. And what if you wasn't rapping? What would you like to do if you if wasn't a rapper? I wouldn't rap, and I'd probably be in trouble or something. I don't know. <laughs> but you said you're a good guy. Uh, uh. Yeah, I'm a big guy. Okay. If it wasn't for this business, I figured the business is a lot positive for me. Okay. I'm doing something good. I could have been doing something bad or either dead or in jail or something. Mm -hmm. so How did it start for you, the, um, the career? Yeah. Basically, I started to just uh, start a record label and like recruit new talent. And I ended up rapping myself. Okay.